I'm Ross from Play Wild, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the assembly of the 2020 model of the Play Wild 40 inch saucer tree swing. It's going to take about five minutes, so sit back and enjoy. So, when you first open the box, you want to check off and make sure that you've got all the pieces included that should be there. First thing to check is the mat or the cover, and then the four pieces of tube with foam covering, two carabiners, one wrench and lastly the two ropes for hanging it. Note before you start assembling the swing that each tube has a different end on it. One is the narrower male end and the other a wider female end and they insert to each other like so. The first step in assembling the swing is to undo these velcro covers and start inserting the tubes into the pockets on the swing. Just feed them around until they're all the way into the pocket. Then take the next tube, making sure that you've got the male end pointing towards the female end here, and insert it from the next pocket. Once it's all the way through, just feed the two tubes together like so and then work your way around again making sure that you have the male end towards the female end connect the two tubes giving them a bit of a wiggle and then for the last tube you're going to have to pass the tube in this last pocket past the other end of the other tube around like so. Feed the two tubes together. And then I find it easier to put the last connection together to stand the swing up on its edge and give it a wiggle and the two tubes will pop together. Now it's time to start putting the bolts through the tube to hold it all together and attach the hanging ropes. Make sure that you have a nylock nut and a washer on each of the eye bolts. In order to make sure that the logo is orientated correctly between the hanging ropes when you've assembled the swing, make sure that the ends of each hanging rope are on either side of the logo. So in this case we have one hanging rope with two ends and they're going to go here and here and the other hanging rope is going to go onto these two joints here. If you have it rotated around, you're going to end up with the logo at a 45 degree angle. At this point, take the nut and washer off the bolt, pass it through the cover, and then find the hole and make sure the two pieces of tube are correctly aligned so you can pass the pass the bolt through the holes. Sometimes it may be necessary to give this uh, two pieces of tube a little twist or a jiggle just to make the holes line up. Once the bolt is through the hole, put the washer on and then the nylock nut. Put the nut on with the flat side up towards the, the washer so it's got a little uh, uh, narrow end on it that goes out the flat side up against the washer. At this point you can just make sure it's finger tightened. Now work your way around the swing using exactly the same process. Pass the bolt through the cover and then through the joint place the washer on first and then the nut. Again, this can be finger tightened and just make sure you don't cross thread the nut and the bolt. Now we're on to the second rope on the other side. Again, pass the bolt through the cover here. Give the tubes a little jiggle just to get the holes lined up, making sure you don't pinch your fingers. And then again, the nut, sorry, the washer and the nut and then the last join. 
bolt through the cover. Through the holes in the tube. Washer on. Then the nut. At this point now, we can grab the wrench and start to tighten up all the joints. I find it easier to tighten the joints if while you're holding the bolt you actually pull it up so that the nut and the washer are hard up against the frame of the swing and that way the wrench is less likely to fall off. Now at this point you want to make sure that the nut is tightened sufficiently onto the bolt that there's not any movement in the joint. However, you don't want to over tighten it because you're going to risk crushing the tube and damaging it. You can see here approximately how much uh, of the bolt is going to be left sticking out from the nut to make sure that the joint is sufficiently tight. And that's a nice tight joint. Now you can put the cover over the bolt and work your way around the swing doing exactly the same thing. Right, we've now got the swing assembled and it's now just time to put the carabiners onto the hanging eyes here. Once you've got the tree swing assembled, you can hang it using any method you want to. We hang ours using the Play Wild tree swing hanging straps that are sold separately. Once you have the tree swing in place, you need to make sure that the ropes are adjusted properly to ensure the swing is level, left and right. In order to do that, it's simply a matter of passing the rope through the bridle here, pulling it through, and that will make this side higher. If you want to lower it, again, it's a matter of passing the extra rope from here through the bridle and pull it, pulling it through until the swing is level and at a safe height from the ground. We recommend that you adjust the ropes and the hanging straps so that the swing is no more than 18 inches or one and a half feet off the ground when it is assembled and ready to play on.